Hi everyone, Selena Pompiani here reporting at my alma mater, Bishop Canavan High School. You know, a lot has changed since I graduated here back in 2010, but some things have remained the same, like receiving a faith-based education. And when students, parents, and faculty hear of a Canavan community member in need of help, they will always step in. It means just so much. Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe that those kids went to those lengths for somebody they don't know. Becca McKim Barrett graduated from Bishop Canavan High School in 1994. Barrett's high school classmate and friend, Michael Meyer, learned of the medical challenges she has been facing and wanted to find a way to help his fellow crusader. And asked how the school could lend a hand. Michael Joyce, principal of Bishop Canavan High School, says the student government thought about having the students pay to hold a few dress down days. They wear uniforms every day, so they get excited about dress down days, and we like to make them for meaningful causes. I had no idea that anything was happening, and then I got the email that they were doing the dress down days. And the message was clear. It was for uh, Becca and to help someone out and do something good as a school community. The students held two dress down days and raised $2,000 for Barrett. When our parents got word of why we were having a dress down day and, and they were really moved by the response to the first dress down day, uh, the parents really issued a challenge to other parents. Thanks to the entire Canavan community, an additional $3,000 was raised for Barrett. All the years I've been here, they've pushed the idea of like being a person for others. That's something we talk about a lot. This generous gift means the world to Barrett, who has been through so much. I started getting sick in 2009, and that's when the lupus kicked in. I started walking with a cane, and I mean, I have I have three kids, and at that time they were they were little. I have three of them were diagnosed with autism, and and one that was neurotypical. Um, so I was dealing with all that. I was working for the Autism Center of Pittsburgh. I mean, I was on the go all the time. In 2015, Barrett tells me over Zoom that this was the year when things really went downhill. My son was hit by a car getting off the school bus oh right in front of the house. He suffered a traumatic brain injury and that day I had actually found out that I suffered a miscarriage. Having to deal with all of this, including lupus, she spends most of her time at home and in bed. When they called me to bring the wheelchair, it could not have come at a better time. She was just like us, you know, one time sitting in these classrooms and uh, it was nice to see everyone come together. They don't know me at all and they were willing to go to these lengths for me and you know i mean i'm nobody so that was that was just amazing they are they are phenomenal they really are and this is the community that makes up bishop canavan giving and generous reporting from bishop canavan high school i'm selena Pompiani for ptl wow you know, there, people talk about young people being self-absorbed and thinking about themselves, yeah. and I, I find that not to be true, and that's such a good example of that. Those young people coming together to help her, and what a time she's going through. I, we, we are thinking about you, and we are so lucky to have a great group of kids here in our yeah. area, in Western Pennsylvania, raising right, raising them right, doing yeah. the right thing for others. Proud to see that story. Thank, Thank you, Selena. Yeah, we appreciate Selena. it. Really well done.